People of the universe, beautiful and handsome, this is this is Captain Kid. In today's video will be a discussion on the 11 supernovas, uh, the super rookies who, were, who gathered on Sabaudi two years ago in the One Piece universe. So we'll be ranking the supernovas from 11 to the first strongest. Uh, weakest the strongest. Let's get started. The 11 supernovas uh, is also considered the worst generation, including Blackbeard. They are always in the center of the of storm in the new world. They're called the problem children, being the cause of conflicts in the new world. And, uh, so uh, that's it. They are the super rookies over 100 million. They are super strong. And that my number 11, the weakest supernova. It's the captain of the fire tank pirates, Capone Gang Beji. Pre time skip bounty of 138 million. Now his bounty is 300 million high. Now an ally of Big Mom. Big Mom pirates. He married. Uh, he married. Is the 22nd daughter of Big Mom during the time skip. Uh, the Castle Castle Man. His ability is really interesting to have an army inside you. Uh, yeah, he's, he's strong. Uh, but uh, I think his power just uh, is just on the moderate level. He isn't uh, getting any power ups sooner, he might get stronger for sure because he's one of the 11 supernovas and he will be there at the end of the story, probably. But uh, I don't see him really be becoming a big time pirate, and uh, I'm sure Sanji will be able to defeat him uh, uh, back in Zo. If they battle one versus one, Sanji versus Capone, Sanji all day. So 138 million uh, bounty Capone Gang Beji will be ranked 11. It's the weakest supernova. So at number 10, Jewelry Big Eater Bunny, also called Gluton. Jewelry Gluton Bunny. Uh, Pre time skip bounty of 140 million. Post time skip bounty still unknown. But uh, we have seen her in the new world. Uh, he he was she was caught by Blackbeard, and uh, and uh, if if you can remember, Akainu Akai uh, Akainu was uh, going to capture Blackbeard, but. Uh, uh, Blackbeard escaped and uh, Akainu took custody of Jewelry Bunny. But after Luffy and Law defeated uh, the Warlord of Lamingo, we see Jewelry Bunny uh, walking freely. And uh, she, she reads the newspaper and she says she's happy to be a part, to be a part of of uh, the generation Luffy and Law is as well. So uh, safe to say she escaped uh, most likely because of her uh, Devil Fruit ability which turns uh, people into uh, children and uh, he she can also turn herself into children. Uh, when we say weakest we, we, uh, we do not mean uh, in uh, physical prowess, of course, phys physical prowess, Jewelry Bunny might really be the weakest of all the 11 supernovas, but, his, but her power is really what makes her great. Uh, I do believe that she will perform a great role during the future arcs of One Piece, uh, during the final war, or... Uh, uh, any upcoming arcs of One Piece, I'm sure, I guarantee it, Jewelry Bunny will be of great part. Her power will be really, really useful and she will uh, be back uh, with uh, with uh, great uh, vengeance 
And uh, I know that the Jelly Bunny have become a big time pirate. I'm not sure if uh, big time is big mom, but I'm sure she'll be great. She's very beautiful. That's it for number 10. So number 9 is the combatant of the kid pirates, the massacre soldier, three times the bounty of 162 million, killer. His bounty now is uh, 200, uh, 200 million uh, post time skip. And uh, we see him as uh, the masked man, the, the, this mysterious guy with blonde hair, uh, with blonde hair as identical to Super Saiyan 3, uh, Son Goku. <laughs> and uh, before, there, there were some theories that uh, he might be a Vin Smoke, but I think... It is still not proven until now, and I'm sure there's some mystery. Uh, uh, Oda was uh, Oda made because hiding his face. Uh, I'm sure Oda will reveal something about it soon, uh, being uh, the genius Oda that he is. But right now, I don't think he is a part of the Vince Mug family. So, placing it at number nine he's strong for sure and he might even battle Zoro being the right hand man of Kid when the time comes Kid Pirates versus Rahat Pirates Kid being the rival of Luffy for the Pirate King title and uh, Killer and Zoro fight would be awesome would be pure hype and Killer at number nine he's strong but uh, at number nine, that's about it for him at the moment. So at, coming at, in at number eight is the Roaring Tide. Captain of the On-Air Pirates is Crutchman Apu. Pre-time skip bounty of 198 million. Post-time skip bounty of 350 million high. Now, he's some, uh, he's some creepy guy. And uh, his power is... Is somewhat music, music, uh, mus music power. He can he can turn his body into instruments, and uh, he's from the Long Arm Tribe. And uh, I've watched a video of uh, Legend Bag before uh, that uh, Brook and and uh, Scratchman uh, might fight in the future. That's really possible, uh, being both of them. Uh, music rely on their music, uh, like something like music powers. And uh, if you can remember, the one that captured Brook, uh, before the two year time skip were members of the Long Arm Tribe, so there might be some relations. A Scratchman, uh, post time skip bounty is 350, even higher than Hawkins. Hawkins is 320 million, but I have him have Basil Hawkins higher than him in this list but uh, I do believe that his ability has some uh, interesting uh, hidden powers as well and uh, I think he'll he's he's not that uh, uh, prominent in the 11 supernovas he's probably one of those who who is uh, not really uh, given importance by One Piece by the One Piece community, but I also think that uh, he will be he will have a shining moment in the coming story arcs of One Piece. Okay, so coming in at uh, number seven is Red Flag, ex Drake, former former Rare Admiral of the Marines. Uh, wilder of the ancient Zoan Devil Fruit Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, you know, X Drake is uh, even before the time skip, he's that one of the leading supernovas. He was mentioned by he was grouped uh, in, the, in the top five with Luffy, Kid, Law, Hawkins, and Drake. 
mentioned by Shaq in, in Sabaudi or Shabondi, Sabaudi, Sabaudi, or how do you pronounce that? So it's Drake, we know he's, that's, he's, he's strong, he's really strong. Then the 222 million, but his uh, post-time skip bounty isn't revealed, uh, isn't, hasn't been revealed yet. Uh, we know about his past, about his his father uh, doing a, a trade for the OP OP no me and uh, was massacred by the Don Quixote family. And the next Drake was was uh, taken to shelter by by the Marines. For now, X Drake as the ally of Kaido. Uh, He's still strong. He's still one of the top tier supernovas, but I don't think uh, there will be any power ups as well. This is Devil Fruit's Tyrannosaur. So, uh, being the Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, Devil Fruit user, I think that's about it. But being a technical, uh, technical fighter, a very smart fighter. Uh, with the wide knowledge of the world government and the marines, he will always be that uh, top tier supernova. At 222 million, that's about it for X Drake, Ally of the Beast Pirates. And also, um, uh, before I forgot, I think uh, Drake and the other supernovas will be able to meet. Uh, during the Kaido War, him being a part of of uh, Kaido, of Yonko Kaido's uh, alliance, also Scratch Man, and it, it might actually happen that they will be uh, fighting against Luffy, Lo, and Kid. Hawkins might be there, Kira as well. That will really, really be awesome fight. Yonko and Supernovas, it will headline in the u- newspapers, it will really be awesome. Okay, so coming in at number number 6 is the Vice Captain, Right Hand Man, the Swordsman, the Pirate Hunter, Kaizuko Gary no Zoro, three time skip bounty of 120 million. Now, his post time skip bounty three hundred and twenty million. Okay, so uh, no uh, no more explanations about this. We all know how strong Zoro is. He 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 still uh, yet to meet a really really strong opponent in the new world. He destroyed Pika of the Don Quixote family. Uh, he wasn't even sweating. Uh, this guy will be the future right hand of the Pirate King. He is the he is the Dark King, so it's really in the making. And um, him at number six, uh, this guy, this guy is really a big deal. The this directionless swordsman <laughs> is way way up there against. Uh, most of the other guys, but uh, Sanji, I think Sanji and Zoro, uh, most of the guys put Zoro above Sanji, but I think uh, they're re- they're ultimately on the same level. If Zoro is above him, it's just be super, super little, uh, slightly uh, advantage against Sanji. But I'm sure uh, they're on the same power level. Rorano Zoro will be part of more, more adventures and the big feats uh, and achievements in the upcoming arcs of One Piece. Rorano Zoro at number six. That's it. So now this list is getting tougher and tougher. Now this we're going to the top five with. And uh, coming in at number five, uh, maybe most guys will disagree with me on this, but uh, I put all the factors in consideration. 
uh, uh, manga manga events are included also here as well. So coming at number five is the Surgeon of Death, Trafalgar D. Waterloo. Post time skip bounty of two hundred million, and uh, I believe his his uh, his his pre time skip is two hundred, and I believe his post time skip is four hundred million. Uh, uh, or four hundred twenty million. Uh, before he was, uh, before he defeated the Flamingo along with Luffy to have four hundred million. He was at four hundred plus something million when he uh gave hearts of pirates into the government to become a warlord and to to uh. To start his plan to take down the flamingo, so <clears throat> excuse me, Trafalgar low power. Travel his power is really OP. Even uh, Oda said that uh, lost power is really OP. That he he needs to nerf it or make some weaknesses on it because it's so. It's just it's just out of this of the One Piece world. It's. Imagine he can take your heart, uh, if he and uh, just crush it. Or I remember one of the greatest moments when uh, Law was fighting, and uh, his Law was fighting all the time, and and uh, uh, and he and he revealed. And when uh, Caesar asked where is his heart, then Law Law took his heart from from his chest and. And uh, here, here's your heart, and then <laughs> it's just an epic moment. Uh, Lo was fighting. Uh, Lo was fighting, and then what if he was killed? And uh, he was using Caesar's heart, so Caesar will be dead inside of him. <laughs> he was savage. Lo is a savage. Even even his the pre time skip is savage when. Uh, when uh, X Drake, uh, <clears throat> when X Drake, uh, when Killer and Uruj was fighting, X Drake uh, stopped them, and uh, he said, "Drake, yeah, the the fight was just starting to get fun." <laughs> and uh, Drake, and then Drake, yeah, how many uh, person you have killed? That that guy, Law is a savage. So, uh, with the OP OP and me, and uh, <coughs> his backstory is wrapped up as well. Uh, but the, the popular the theory, him dying to save Luffy, to sacrifice his himself, to beat Kaido, I don't think that's happening. I don't think that would be good. I don't think, I, I don't even think Lo will die. So, at number five, Trafalgar Lo, good at number five. So at number four, this list is really getting tougher and tougher and tougher. The magician, the mage, Basil Hawkins, two hundred forty-nine million. Just wow. His pre-time skip bounty is at two hundred forty-nine million, so high, even higher than pre-time skip loss bounty of two hundred. But uh, his post-time skip bounty just in increased. A little bit only with 320 million even scratchman even has uh, a higher bounty than him as I've mentioned earlier but I think Hawkins is one of those mysterious char characters who is really strong his voodoo power or something he can he can uh, foresee the future Remember in the Marine Ford arc, when the supernovas are watching, Hawkins said, "Even how many times say I try to see it, Mugiwara's uh, rate of survival never drops down to zero." Also, another one is, uh, "I see a shadow of, I see a shadow of, a uh, death in Yonko Shanks." So. That's a really uh that's I think 
huge never never got wrong in prediction so that might just make us sad that Shanks might actually die but nonetheless that's uh, that's not the topic on hand I think Hawkins is really strong uh, he can have so many lives with the voodoo dolls uh, he wasn't able to damage Kizaru though but maybe you guys might ask why is he ranked 4 uh, I think well, let's just say Law and Hawkins are interchangeable. Hawkins can place number 5, Law at 4, Law at 5, Hawkins at 4. They're interchangeable. I just think we haven't seen Hawkins. We haven't seen much of Hawkins and we have seen all of Law up to now. And I think Hawkins have some really, really, uh, some creepy powers off his sleeve. So at number 3, now, <clears throat> this guy at... at my third strong supernova was always ranked like last or tenth uh, in supernova rankings. But after what he did in the manga, upon beating one of the sweet commanders, because there are four sweet commanders of Big Mom, but now uh, when Luffy and the other guys arrived in Hoogie Island, there were only three because <clears throat> Yuruj was able to beat one of them uh kid uh was kid was not able to do so or maybe he escaped when he get got into big man territory but yuruj was able to beat one of the commanders just just imagine how huge how big of a feat is it is to beat one of the commanders of a Yonko, one of the four emperors of the sti, one of the three power powers of the world, and Yurge was able to beat a commander of a Yonko. With that just achievement, it just shows how strong Yurge is. We're not sure how he was able to beat uh, the commander, but we know Yurge can become like uh, he, he can become larger and. Uh, uh, bulkier so that's the main reason I put him at number three and we shall never underestimate this Sky Island guy this mud monkey Rouge uh, the captain of the what's his crew mud monk uh, pirates or something like that I'm putting on number three many guys might disagree but that feat Yonko's power are unimaginable, unimaginable, unmeasurable. So a commander is very strong as well. In the manga, well, Luffy was able to beat Crack or one of the Yonko commanders, but it took so many days. Uh, remember when Kaido was was trying to suicide, and then Kid, uh, in the Kid Alliance, uh, was shocked when Kaido jump out of the sky we remember that huge was there in the sky island and was with he has bandages all over his body i do think that uh maybe that's because of we're not sure if that's because of the battle against the sweet commanders but probably it is so okay We've wrapped up number 11 to number 3. <clears throat> Coming at number 2, second stronger supernova. I'm unbiased here. Uh, captain, this captain guy. The savage guy. <laughs> I'm the savage guy of the supernova. This crazy guy. Captain of the Kid Pirates. Eustace Captain Kid. 350 million pre time skip bounty now the 470 million bounty man hmm it plays him at number two i really think he's the real rival <clears throat> he's the greatest rival of luffy of all the 11 supernovas aside from uh the other pirates like blackbeard as his rival and Kobe, I do believe Kobe is his rival. But I think just a little 
uh, let's get a little bit uh, of topic. I do believe that Kobe is Luffy's real rival. People saying Smoker will be Garp. I don't believe in that. I think Smoker's ability or power won't rise <coughs> as high as Garp's. So, uh, I think Smoker is a Vice Admiral now, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. But Kobe will become an Admiral. Will become He will be the one who will reform the Marines along with Fujitora, hopefully. And the, he's real Luffy's rival. But as pirates, Luffy's rival is Marshall the Teaching Kid. And the kid will for sure have insane power ups. Uh, again, I've, I've watched another Legend Max video, his new, his new video about uh, kids' power ups. And uh, his awakening will really be insane. Because his power is magnetism related, he might even stop the rotation of the world. That's insane. But I do believe that Kid is uh, the white beard to Roger. Uh, I'm sure he he could be a Yonko as well. As I, that's how I believe Buggy will be a Yonko. Captain Buggy, I do believe that Kid will be a Yonko as well. There's not much explanation. We. Uh, well, many guys underestimate Kid. His power isn't even close to Luffy's power level. But I do think... Because, no, he was destroyed by Kaido. There were some theories that Scratchman uh, might uh, create... Uh, might uh, be the one who... Uh, he didn't fight and that he just surrendered. And, of course, Kid being the prideful one fought. But... Uh, we don't know for sure where Hawkins is. He might have survived. Killer as well. So Killer might be, might be the one to approach Luffy and Law in Wano and then they'll save Kid. And they, they will unite three, all of them three, beat Kaido, though Kaido seems unbeatable at the moment, even though that doesn't know how to beat Kaido. But that will be an epic moment. Okay, so we've wrapped up number 11, number 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's do a recap first. At, at my number 11, Capone Gang, Beji. Number 10, Jewelry Bonnie. Number 9, Killer. Number 10, number 8, uh, X Drake, Red Flag. Number seven, Rarno Zoro. Number six is uh, oh no 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 sorry sorry. Number four, Scratchman Apu. Ah, uh, wait. Again again, uh, Again, uh, number 11, Capone Gambeji. Number 10, Jill Riboni. Number 9, Killer. Number 8, Scratchman Apu. Number 7, X Drake. Number 6, Runner Nova Zoro. Number 5, Trafalgar Waterloo. Number 4, Bashil Hawkins. Number 3, Yuruj Mudmonk. And number 2, Kid. And now, coming into number 1. The guy who is the strongest supernova, the guy who is Baka, this this captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, number one, the strongest supernova, Straw Hat Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy. In the course of 770 plus of One Piece episodes and 850 plus manga chapters, we see how Luffy developed to become the strong pirate that he is right now. 300 million posts, pre time skip, and 500 after, after, after beating Do Flamingo. Uh, same body as Law. They're still the top three highest, uh, along with Kid, uh, with the Supernovas, highest bounties, Kid Law and Kid, Kid Law and Luffy. This guy Luffy will be the Pirate King. We all know he will achieve his dream, just as Naruto be 
became became the hog. Uh, not much explanation. Gear second, gear third, gear fourth is already insane. We we'll just be waiting for the gear fifth with the fifth gear. Uh, not much explanation needed. Uh, I hope uh you guys uh don't get angry at me putting Luffy at first. <laughs> I think all of you know that Luffy is the strongest. Actually, I'm not a fan of Luffy and Strat Pirates. I don't like the Strat Pirates. Uh, I, I like the uh, the other guys. Like, uh, of course, Kid, Lo, but I really don't like Luffy. But we all know he's the strongest to achieve his dream. So that's about it. Uh, self-explanatory number one says self-explanatory so this is my top supernova rankings and uh like if you like the video dislike if you d didn't like it oh i can't believe i was talking for half an hour now but uh i hope it was worth it i was able to explain all things that i need to explain burn me guys English is my primary language and thank you see you in the next video. This is Yusuf Captain Kid. See you guys